table was really cool. Um, but yeah, the the epoxy worked even with all the uh, even with all the um, bullets in there. So yeah, it, it looked good. Um, so there's um, another guy. Um, I'm going to do a video now where we've got an, R uh, an RC R uh, an RC aircraft carrier. Uh, but this guy's like really fucking genius when it comes to pardon my French, really genius when it comes to RC vehicles, water, boats, and all that sort of thing. Uh, I think you might find it interesting. If you do, let me know in the comments because um, I'd be interested to hear what you guys have to say. This is my one point five thousand dollar. I had one of carrier. those. It's very long and narrow, which makes it kind of unstable on the road. I never axis, sailed it though, especially Gutted. in big waves. Even in smaller Maybe, waves, it has thing. a tendency to bob back and forth a bit. So I decided it would be fun to try and stabilize it with science. This the is not a very stable yeah. reaction wheel that I glued to the deck. The reaction wheel is directly coupled to a big brushless motor, which is controlled by the new O-Drive Micro. It has a Hall Effect encoder on the back, which can measure the motor's exact position and speed. This way, it can precisely control the acceleration of the flywheel. And when paired with an Arduino and a gyro, it can actually stabilize the <coughs> black. Uh, this guy, uh, I'll put a link to his channel in uh, below as well as link to this video if you want to watch it. But this guy did a, recently did a competition where he tested loads of uh, propellers uh, to find out which was like uh, the most efficient, the quietest running in water. And it was two parts, I think. Uh, but it was really, I, I, I found it very, very interesting. Uh, some really good results. Um, I mean, if, you, if you're interested in that, you know, go check out. I haven't done a video on that because they're quite long. I think they're like half an hour to five minutes long. But if you are interested in that sort of thing, click on the channel to click on the link to his channel and they will be on there. And the re the, it was really, really fascinating. Uh, it has a very good scientific approach to how he was testing them all as well. So, yeah, check it check it out if you if that sounds appealing to you. It most probably does it. You must probably think, oh my God, is this what Ben's into? But I, I, I found it interesting, man. This is the boat. If the gyro senses that the boat is rolling to the right, it will spin the flywheel to the right, which will create a torque on the ship rolling it to the left. And this will in turn cancel out the original movement. Oh yeah, I can totally feel some roll damping going on. Wow, that's cool. And I thought that would okay, break so the motor after so long. The going, uh, uh, on the... Yeah, it feels really I might be wrong. now. Not oscillating or anything i might take it up even higher so now let's see how well this works out on the water it's a big bug side by side so you, the you, reaction wheel turned i bought on and off uh, i bought I my one off axis. ebay and i think it's like 70 see the reaction pounds. wheel makes a huge difference in damping the ongoing roll motion after the initial disturbance although his looks his looks a bit bigger than mine that's crazy it works so well we got some high seas out here today. I it's think his is almost crazy. double the size the of what mine was. First, we'll do a before and after. With mine wasn't that wheel. big. It was. It it's was so small. Than the it's like had. super stable. Roll is definitely more stable than pitch, which is saying something. Maybe you couldn't land anything on the deck now. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. This aircraft carrier is so stable. You could land any plane on that thing. Damn, that's a Here's foil a of the navy. While the ship is going through big waves, once again the difference is pretty clear. The reaction wheel damps out the vast majority of the unwanted roll movements. But what it doesn't do is compensate. Yeah, if he was doing um, a wheel off, he should have done it without any wheel on there, really. Although that wheel most probably isn't helping the stability. It's most probably making the uh, stability worse while it's turned off because the, uh, the, point, the point of balance will be much higher, which means it would tip even easier while that wheel's off. Uh, compared to if there was no wheel on there at all. So I suppose it's not a bad comparison. For a long-term roll offset, it would be possible to implement an inverted pendulum controller, which would always try to return the ship to level. But for now, I love it's running a simple roll rate controller. As long as you don't care too much about long-term offset, the simple roll rate controller works okay. And this is just because the ship's center of gravity is still below its center of buoyancy. So it has some natural stability. The reaction wheel is just fighting against any short-term movements. Here's some shots with the reaction wheel turned off for comparison. Ooh, Ooh wow. big waves. Those are big waves. Roll is still pretty stable, huh. but it's definitely moving a lot more. This boat is still passive. I think it's stable. a two propeller. Otherwise, it would just uh, capsize. I think we actually did gain some passive stability by mounting the reaction wheel on the ship, even when it's powered off. This might not make sense at first, because after all, the reaction wheel is just a bunch of weight above the center of gravity. 
but in order to keep the ship from capsizing, I also had to add more ballast to the bottom of the hull. So now we just have more inertia in general. Right. And as long as our center of gravity stays in the same place, so he's weighted it down to keep the boat the ship tipping. Short-term disturbances. <laughs> There's no way I can land on this thing in these waves. This helicopter will go into the drink, and it's not waterproof. It's got GPS position hold even. I'm gonna try it. It's actually working really well. It stays in one spot. I like that helicopter. Yeah, it's nice little helicopter. He's got all the cool toys, this guy. Will it capsize? No, it won't, because we have a reaction wheel, bitch. Wow, it really is so stable. In order for this flywheel to be able to stabilize the ship, the Arduino needs to be able to control it super precisely. And that's where the O-Drive Micro comes in. It's a high-precision brushless motor controller. Well, so you don't... I th I'm sure there's a video on there which has a, a video which has uh, infinite range, a boat that I did with uh, infinite range with solar panels. Uh, that was really good. And I think there's another one, a really good one where he, um, he got a boat that towed him. So he's got like this double hull uh, RC boat, and um, which he does a lot of his testing on. And he got the RC boat to tow him as well. That was pretty cool. That can be used in all sorts of robotics applications. I think it'll even He's be very good when it comes to circuit boards and, and stuff like, like that. that. Check it out on Crowd. I wouldn't have a clue. Interested. Big thanks to Oscar from O-Drive for helping me with the electronics for this project. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye. But yeah, no, he's he's a really good channel. He he does, um, he, he the 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 way that he does things. It is quite scientific the way he does things. Um, there may not, ideally, you do it in an environment where you could control as many variables as you can. Uh, but he does a very very good job of uh, getting very good results in his data that he does. Um. So, but yeah, like I said, it's it's a, it's a really good channel. I I find what he does really, really interesting. He's got some hydrofoil planes. Uh, he's got um, other things. Uh, one of those jets, those um, surfboards that actually you're on top of the water, so you're not actually in the water. And you go up and down. Uh, he's done loads of uh, he's done some really good videos. Like I said, there's, there'll be a link in the uh, in the description to his channel if you want to check it out. But I, I'd strongly recommend it. So it's a really good uh, it's a really good uh, channel, man.